We have three molecules you need to know about. One is ATP. This is cellular energy. This is where the cells get almost all of their energy, or at least the majority of their energy, to power cellular activity. So if you need to send a nervous signal, if you need a muscle to contract, if you need to make something in a cell, ATP is what powers that process. ATP is what gives energy to cells. When ATP's energy is used up, it loses a phosphate and becomes ADP. So think ATP is a triple phosphate, ADP is a double phosphate. PI is just a lone phosphate all by itself. The I stands for inorganic. All PI means is that we have a phosphate floating by itself. When we add a phosphate to ADP, we get ATP, a triple phosphate. When we add one phosphate to a molecule with two phosphates, we get ATP. This has energy, this does not. In a sense, this is like a charged battery. So imagine a rechargeable battery. This is the charged version, this is the dead version. We recharge this into that using ATP synthase. ATP synthase is sort of like a battery charger. It recharges our dead ADP into our charged ATP. The process that ATP synthase uses to turn ADP into a charged ATP is called phosphorylation. Phosphorylation is simply the addition of a phosphate to a molecule. So for example, when we take ADP and add PI to it, we get ATP. This whole process is phosphorylation. Phosphorylation simply means to add a phosphate. Just like education means to get educated, phosphorylation means to get a phosphate. There are two kinds of phosphorylation. We have substrate level phosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation. Substrate phosphorylation occurs in the cytosol. And in substrate level phosphorylation, ADP and PI go into an enzyme, and that enzyme combines them into ATP. The other kind is oxidative phosphorylation. In oxidative phosphorylation, we have hydrogen in the intermembrane space of the mitochondria. As that hydrogen moves through ATP synthase, it causes ATP synthase to turn. When ATP synthase turns, it combines ADP and PI into ATP. Both are phosphorylation, or the addition of a phosphate molecule. One occurs in the cytosol and involves an enzyme and no hydrogen. The other occurs in the mitochondria, involves hydrogen and a spinning wheel of ATP synthase. So a quick summary. We have ATP, that is a molecule with three phosphates and is charged. We have ADP, a molecule with two phosphates and is uncharged. Think of ATP as a triple phosphate. Think of ADP as a double phosphate. We have PI, which is just a lone phosphate floating around by itself. Combine this with this and we make that. PI plus ADP makes ATP. ATP synthase is one of the molecules that will combine PI with ADP to make the charged ATP. Again, ATP synthase is kind of like a battery charger. The addition of a lone phosphate to another molecule is called phosphorylation. Phosphorylation just means adding a lone phosphate to another molecule, such as ADP, to make ATP. Lastly, we have two kinds of phosphorylation. Substrate level phosphorylation occurs when an enzyme combines a phosphate and an ATP in the cytosol and oxidative phosphorylation, where we have hydrogen powering ATP synthase to combine PI and ADP to make ATP.